Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to give you three easy ways to save energy with your Nest Thermostat Generation 3 or even the Nest Thermostat E. So if you want to save a little bit of energy and get the most out of your Nest Thermostat, there are a couple settings that you can adjust to help you save both energy and money. So let's get right into it. Um, the first thing you can see when you click on the Nest is obviously the temperature, but you're just going to go in and you're going to make sure that you have your eco temperature set point set and that you have home away assist on. And what that does is anytime that it detects that you're not at home, it will turn the energy usage down and the temperature in your home either up or down to those eco set points. So like in the winter, I set my eco set point somewhere around 57 degrees or maybe even a little bit lower. And then in the summer, I can set my eco set point somewhere around 80 degrees. So in order to do that, you can go in here and uh, just click on the menu and go to the settings. So that's the little gear icon down at the bottom. And the first thing you're gonna do is go to the home away assist button. And it says automatically use eco temperatures when no one's home. And currently mine is set up so that it is using. So I say stop using if I wanted to turn it off or if you don't have it on, you're gonna click on this and you're gonna click on use eco. So we just go ahead and click on that. And now we are done. It is in eco mode. It will use that and we can go ahead and click done. But where do you set the temperatures? Well, you just scroll over to the next menu item in the Nest thermostat, and there it is, the eco temperatures. So it says, choose your eco temperatures. It says heat to 55 degrees in the winter time or when you have heating on, and it says cool to 84 degrees in the summer. So we're gonna turn that down. Um, we'll put it maybe like at 82. Um, you could do 84. Now, the one thing that you need to think about is if you have pets and if your pet's gonna be home, so sometimes depending on how cold it's gonna be outside, I do adjust that eco mode to be uh, more friendly to the pet and make sure that he's not gonna to be too cold or too hot. So that's just something to think about if you have a dog or a cat and the temperature tolerance for that particular pet that you have. Now, another way that you can actually save energy with the Nest is once again, go into that settings menu. So we're gonna click on the settings and this is the second way that you can save energy with the Nest Generation 3. So we go past the eco mode and the next thing we're gonna to go to is Nest Sense. Okay, that is in the settings menu and we go ahead and click on this. Now there are several different settings in here. There's auto schedule, time to temperature, early on, cool to dry, sunblock, leaf, and airwave. Well, I'm gonna click on the airwave because this is one of the best ways to save energy with your Nest thermostat in the summer. The airwave feature, what it does is it turns off your AC compressor before it turns off the fan that circulates air throughout your house. So what Nest Airwave does and how it saves energy is the most energy intensive requirement for your HVAC system is actually the AC compressor where the HVAC system itself with its fan doesn't use a lot of energy. So what the airwave function does is that it will take that cold air in that cold coil within your HVAC system and it will keep blowing air across it to get the most cooling out of your system while the energy intensive part, the AC compressor upstairs or outside your home has been turned off. And the AC compressor, like we said, is much less efficient than the fan, which uses much less energy. So it's a way to combine both the AC compressor and the fan to get maximum cooling out of it and make sure that that fan continues to run a little bit longer, even after the AC compressor is off, so you don't have just a cold coil in your HVAC system that isn't having that cold air circulated, which typically is what happens with most systems, is once you turn the AC off or it reaches a set point, it turns off both the fan and the compressor at the same time, and even though the coil is still cold and you could blow air across it and get more cooling out of it, the typical traditional thermostat doesn't do it. It just shuts the whole system down. So that's an innovative feature with the Nest and you can just turn that on by going to that setting and clicking on the Nest Airwave and turning it on. So that's a great way to save energy with the Nest thermostat in the summertime. Now, what is the third way to save energy with the Nest thermostat? Well. It's actually using one of these. And many of you probably haven't seen one of these or maybe you have, or maybe you've heard of them. This is actually a Nest Room temperature sensor. So you can place these anywhere in your home. You can get them in single packs or three packs. We'll include links to these below. But what I've found is that they are really good at helping you save energy because you can place them throughout your home and then you can see what temperature each individual room is. So for instance, I like to sleep a little bit cooler at night. 
I can tell what the temperature is upstairs in the bedroom versus what temperature it is downstairs near where the thermostat is. And what that allows me to do is turn down my heating before I go to bed so that it's not as hot upstairs before I go to sleep and I can save some energy. So really this allows you to heat and cool a particular room that you're using versus where your thermostat is, which is what typically is controlling your HVAC system. So with these, you can control the set point and monitor the temperature in different rooms using the Nest Room Temperature Sensor. Now, another reason that I've found these to be really good at saving energy is if you have a couple of these, three, four, maybe even five or six, is that you can place them in different rooms throughout your house and then go around on a day that you are either using heating or cooling and actually adjust your vents throughout your house so that you can equalize it or what we would call balance the vents in your house so that one room's not too hot, one room's not too cold. And it does really let you know what temperature each room is and allow you to manually adjust those vents. So while it can't control the vent itself, it does allow you to get a better understanding of how your home heats and cools and adjust those vents in the summer season and in the winter season, which a lot of people can really struggle with. And a lot of people have uneven heating and cooling. And you might find that there might be one vent that you might not use at all and you keep closed in the summertime and another one that you keep open in the wintertime to help equalize that cooling. So these are a great tool for that. And I found that they have helped me save a ton of energy because I can control one, the temperature in a specific room, but I am also able to control how I turn on and off the manual vents. And I kind of do that once or maybe twice a year. And it really helps me make my home more uh, efficient at heating and cooling because I'm not heating and cooling spaces I don't use. And it has helped make the temperature more comfortable in the rooms that I do use while saving me both energy and money. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, please subscribe and visit us at onehoursmarthome.com if you want to support us or subscribe to the channel.